What's going on, Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with another video. We're continuing on with our Puzzle Cube project. All right, by now, you have come up with all of the one, two, three, four, five, and six block solutions. All right, so as we're looking at the paper that's in front of you right now, you're seeing my one through four solutions. Over here, I started the five. They're continued on the back. And then there's more solutions for the six. All right, so if we flip this over, there's my fives, there's my sixes. All right, so a whole lot of solutions going on right now. This has all been building for today, okay? So now that we know all different solutions, you are going to take your favorite cubes out of your homework assignment and involve them into our project. Now, I will tell you that no one in the class will have the same answer for this homework assignment. So no one is going to be able to help you but me or yourself, okay? You can't lean on your classmates because their answer and solution is going to be totally different than yours. No two answers will be the same for this project, all right? What you guys are going to be designing is your own puzzle cube, you have to pick five different shapes of all the ones that you drew that are all going to fit together and create your version of a puzzle cube. Now, ultimately, what does that look like? Let me slide it in the camera view here. Okay. So, what I have here is five different of the solutions that you did for homework all put together. So we'll take it all apart here, take a look at some of this. All right. So here's one of the solutions, all right? This here was a solution for six blocks. It's one of the ones that I came up with, all right? On my sheet here, if we slide that into place here, you can see it's drawn right here, okay? That is my piece. Now, what you're going to do, of all of your puzzle cube pieces, okay? Look at them all, five and six blocks. Looking at all of those shapes, I want you to pick your favorite one. Whichever one you think looks the best, what is the coolest shape, what did you have the most fun drawing, okay? I want you to use that shape first. Okay, so in my scenario, in the demo that I'm showing you here, this is the one that I picked. Okay, you might pick something totally different. So looking at all the solutions that I'm showing you right now on the screen, okay, or we look at some of the fives, I want you to look at all your pieces, and I want you to make sure that you get your favorite puzzle cube piece in your puzzle. Okay, so next up you're gonna to have to pick another piece that is going to attach to that piece, all right? So if this is the piece that I'm using and I decide that I want to use this four block piece, okay, how am I going to get this to attach to this? So am I going to have it sit like this? Am I gonna have it sit like this? Am I gonna have it sit like this? Okay, there is so many different choices that you can make on this assignment that no two will be the same, okay? And I will see everybody's. So don't come in showing me someone else's solution because I know them all, all right? I'm going to see them all. You have to have five different pieces. Now, when you're doing this, okay? All of our shapes that you're going to put into your final cube, okay, has to have somewhere between four and six blocks, okay? So this one that you're looking at right now on the screen, this one has six, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? There's six blocks in this solution. The second one that I showed you, that one only has four, all right? Now, what you are challenged to do is your puzzle cube solution has to have five pieces that all fit together 
and the number should add up to 27. 27. Now, where am I getting that number from? Let me put this back together here, and we'll discuss it. Okay. This cube, when we talk about an ISO looking at it, okay, over here on our front view, this thing is three tall, three deep, okay, by three wide. So there are 27 of these cubes. If we counted them up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's three rows of them. So that's 27. Your number has to add up to 27. When we look at the shapes that I used here on mine, okay, if we lay these out, all right, I'll try and get them all on screen here for you. There we go, all right. So you look at the orange one, that one has six blocks. You look at the green one in the back, that has five. So adding those up, that would be 11. We come over here to the yellow one. That's four. That gets us up to 15, okay? So I'm at 15, and I gotta get to 27, okay? So that means I have 12 left. That means my final two shapes needed to have six pieces, okay? And they both do when we add these up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so when you add up your five shapes, they have to add up to 27. That is the magic number, okay? You don't have to use a specific number of sixes or a specific number of fives or fours, but the number has to add up to 27. 27 is the key number when you're doing this, all right? Now, your homework, when you're figuring out your solution, and trust me, some of you will struggle on this, okay? And some of you will get this right away. I will tell you that when I did this, it took me about a half an hour to 45 minutes because I got so frustrated that my pieces wouldn't fit together towards the end. Just stick with it. You will get it. All right, it is a frustrating assignment. I'm telling you now, this is the most frustrating assignment that I give in the whole course, okay? Because some of you will get it right away and others will struggle. And if you're struggling, that's okay, but we gotta get to a solution. Ultimately, it's gotta be 27 cubes. Notice all five of these shapes are different shapes. You can't use the same shape twice. The only shapes that I am banning from this assignment that you're not allowed to use, there's only two shapes that are banned, and that is the four block square and the six block rectangle. Those two you're not allowed to use. You're allowed to use any of the other solutions that you have come up with um, on your homework, okay? So it has to be between four and six blocks, it's got to add up to 27 when you do it. Your homework is, and I'm going to show you, all right? Obviously, you can't use this solution because it's done. All right, taking a look. You're going to draw your five cubes, okay? Here it is, part one, six blocks. You're going to draw a dotted box representing the cube. Okay, then inside the cube, I want you to draw the shape. If you have colored pencils, you can color it in. If you don't have colored pencils, please use shading, okay? Like we used on the previous assignment, okay? One side is white, one side is dark, one side is a medium shade, all right? So if you have colored pencils, use them. If you don't have colored pencils, that's okay, all right? Just use shading so your shape stands out a little better. So as you come across, part one, six blocks. Part two, when that is drawn, okay, they drew it in the orientation that everything goes together. Part two is five blocks. Part three is four blocks, okay? And you're going to do that for all those parts together, just like that, all right? 
when you add up 6 and 5 and 4 and 6 and 6, you add those up, it is 27. Your number needs to be 27 when you're done, okay? Then, you're going to draw your cube all put together, all right? This may be difficult for you, all right, if you don't have the proper solution finished, all right? So, even for homework tonight, if you just get these boxes done, great, that's fine. These we can draw at a later time. In the classroom, I have these colored blocks, okay, that I will allow you to try and put your solution together to make sure that it works, all right? If you're a remote student, I'll have to get you the blocks. So please reach out in an email. Um, I, can, I can set up some blocks being left here in the uh, main office for you to pick up, all right? That's not a problem, all right? But everybody else, don't worry about um, doing this tonight, okay? Because the next time that you're in class, I'll let you put the cubes together and make sure that you have a good solution, all right? But that's where we're at. You're going to have to come up with your own puzzle cube. I don't give people the cubes until they have a solution. So I got to see your solution. You got to know that it's going to work. And then I'll let you go back and actually try and build it. All right. But your homework tonight is to come up with five different shapes. Please label them like this. This is labeled here. Okay. So part one, part two, part three, all the way up to five. And list how many blocks. Each one should have a dotted box representing where the cube fits with inside of it, all right? That's your homework for today. Please don't get too frustrated, okay? Walk away from the paper if you get too frustrated and come back to it. It's okay, you have till, uh, yeah, you have till midnight to get this turned in. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye.